Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we are saw the cows now down there. Today we're vaccinating all the dairy stock for IBR. It's a infectious disease in their respiratory system and it's just routine. Like look, we do it every year. Like it's just routine vaccine and you know and they're all done it takes the days working it really plus that um you know if you do the in calf heifers all the cows in calf heifers and you have to do all the calf or calves are born this year the winning heifers they're all to be done so two months a year it's pretty routine so then also today we to try and you know, the 10 youngest weanlings that come home. I'm going to try and get them to eat down the receding before the weather breaks. It's th this week now is good. Um, I'm back for my weekend off, so just trying to get things in organized now again. So, but look, look, we'll get there. So, we'll try and get these cows now vaccinated and get done. And good, there was a good response to my last video as well on the non withdrawal treatments, mastitis, and all that. So, yeah. You know, worked well and everything. So once it works, once it works, can't really complain. So um, also cow draw full time now again since the, since last um, made Friday was just brutal. The rain it made it made 53 million dingles. So it was just crazy. So look, get to see my out again. So look, we'll get them vaccinated now, and we'll start them the rest of the animals in. I don't like this now. Come on. They're going straight off the grass afterwards anyway, so they might mind too much. Now the eight cows I'm not doing now because they're cold and they'll be sold at the end of the year, so I'm not doing them. So, come on. Come on. Come on. My cows hate the crush. They hate it. Come on. <laughs> Absolutely hate it. Like. They hate the crush. They hate it. Come on. Once the first two seconds going over the farm road track though, they will follow on because they lost freedom <laughs> from all of this. Come on, come on, come on, get one more in there, alright, come on, come on, come on, or tree, it's tree for now, now, we got a new applicator as well for injecting salt shots, you know, it's really handy. These are a gift, you know, they're very handy. 2ml, put the bottle in, they're a gift. They really are. They last without them. Some job, it's a gift fly. It's a gift. No, I'll get vaccinated.
So that's all the cows done. It was a bit of a challenge in the end. That's why I stopped filming because they're just hard to get into the crush a lot of the time. So now I have to go get the in calf heifers. The next ones to do, they're up the hill, so I've got to get them. But they're they're easy enough. And what I'll do is then they can go and eat, eat that side that's left from the cows the last night. They can just eat. eat that up and then when they're eating that we can be going back doing the wheeling heifers so just close getting the cows now and then go down and get the heifers and we'll start vaccinating them Come on, come on, come on. And like I said, I'm gonna leave mint to eat that silage as well. Just for today, they can just mop it up because I'm not wasting it. Like, costs enough to make it, nice leaves. Come on. Henry the Bull doesn't does want to cooperate at all today, you know, he's just been awkward in every possible way. <laughs> come on boy, you can go up there now, come on, come on, come on. See, no way like, no way at all. Come on, come on, come on guys, come on. Come on. Come on lads. Come on, come on. But that better crop right in the cows anyway. Come 
one. Come on. So we have the box now, so what we're going to do is, is like, like I said earlier, bring home the 10 smallest weanlings um, and they can wean the reseeding because there's so much grass sticking around here there's only probably a week and a half to wean it before the cows will be in because there's a lot of rain coming next week I think again so we have to try and eat the grass down before the winter. And look as I'm going back, I'm going to home because I'm going back to Nathan so let's save a journey anyway. So now I've got them all into the pin and separate the heifers from but just the freezing heifers, just the dairy stock is all in vaccinating because IBR fixed fertility. Oh, I'll just about that. So we're gonna get them all in now to here, so it's gonna be a great crack. <laughs> Empty bag might draw me in. Suck, 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 suck. Come on. They're only laughing at me, like, they're only laughing at me, like. Suck, 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 suck. See if I go around behind them, then they'll all follow me out. So it's kind of a <laughs> tough place to kind of get them into. We'll get them eventually. Right, guys, I didn't film any of that because it was torture. Right, I got out the smallest ones I can find to bring home with me. All the heifers are separated and there's a line of them here in the crush. Now I gotta start vaccinating them. Again like I said it was torture to get them out. Torture. So this is actually my first year doing this and it's routine for a lot of farmers that do IBR. It's routine for a lot of them and we never had IBR really but just came up high in the milk results so my vet recommended that I do it he said you're going to regret it after if you don't because if it is causing infertility there's no point going back to him then oh I've somebody called that in Catholic shit and he's like well I told you to do it to do to do them for the IBR so and he'd be right like he wouldn't be lying so These small things are worth doing, like you know. Very stuffed in there now, in fairness. Right. That's them all done. There's one animal in here too, I have to lift up her leg because she's been in like a while. And I've been injecting her, it's not going away, so we'll lift her leg and we'll see what the story is there. Like there, there could be something stuck in it, who knows? Front left, it keeps acting up. I don't know what it is.
Okay. for another injection. Antibiotics it might help her because it could be a bad case of foul as well. It's taking a while to go away from rot. No. So we'll inject her in and won't hurt her. Go on. Go on. I haven't got no cider yet, so they're probably <laughs> not happy at all. But look, we won't be too long more. Come on. And the last crush load. With these done now, and then we'll have a bit of peace for a while. Okay, that's all the heifers vaccinated. Everything, cows, heifers, everything. And yeah, it went okay really. Um, that gate's missing, that pin there's missing a gate, it's installed again. You know, I was just feeding them all their ration now and try and load them. How many do I have? Three, six, eight. It says that there's already three at home, that'll be 11. But they can just go into the reseeding, be fine for them, like, you know. And it's just to get the reseeding it down and all that, you know, just get the skin down and this would be for the winter to, to encourage to encourage um, tillering over the winter, you know. So I'm going to throw a truck in, I'm going to land, a, land one of the trucks now into the AC. I'm going to feed them before they go home. Seems that they'll be fed. I can come back and get the truck in tomorrow. And yeah, that'll be that. And we'll feed the rest of them, then, then we'll get them home. Waiting for them to finish, it's going to be the longest job now. No hurry, like. More than here waiting, and the heifers. <laughs> I have to just wait. I'm not boxing already, so. Just in case of waiting. So, really, guys, that's the end of the video, really. Um, I might do my. Do you know, the ending now as I'm waiting. Um, do you know, that was just me vaccinating for IBR. Like I said, it's respiratory. A disease in the cows respiratory system, the lungs, um, I think it starts somewhere in the track it coming down and just went high my milk results, you know I test for that, for IBR and I went high and look I wanted it done, I wanted it off the way, I, I didn't want to be itching with the cause of anything more, it causes pink eye as well, it's when the eye goes all busy filtered fluid and goes white so we had lost that over the years. Was this causing it? Probably was. Probably was. Maybe it wasn't. Look, maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Who knows? But I, I read online and I've asked people and that's IBR has been a cause of that. So look, if it helps stop that, then it's great. We were blaming the shade. They're not just fixing it. We just fixed it every year. But um, that's what apparently was. That's what apparently causes it. So it was causing that and. I'm not saying we have massive infertility the past few years, but we had a bit all the same, like, enough to kind of annoy me, like, you know, the cows that, that should be in calf and they weren't, and, you know, Dr. Dan Ryan, the scanner would come round and he'd say that there's nothing wrong with them, they should go in calf fine, and you're like, three or four rounds of the bull, and the bull is in good shape, and AI, and no, nothing at all. And you hate giving them an injection to hold the egg for longer, because, you know, it's not kind of a show animals and things, it's not really worth it, like. So, in some cows anyway. So, hopefully it helps. And look, hopefully you found the video interesting. Hopefully this helps. So, I'll get these loaded now and I'll show you me letting them off for the reseeding. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.